Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to learn thermodynamics LAQ, that is Carnot cycle. See the question. Explain reversible and irreversible processes. Describe the working of Carnot engine. Obtain an expression for the efficiency. Means what we have to do? We have to first write about reversible and irreversible processes, means definition and one example. Then we have to explain Carnot engine, it's working, and then we have to obtain an expression for the efficiency. So let's start. Now, first of all, reversible process. So see, in the name itself, reversible process means what? The process which can be retraced back in opposite direction by following same state as in direct process is called reversible process. Means the process which can be retraced back. Now, let's see one example or one more point we can add that is finally system and surrounding return to their original state. Example you see, conversion of ice into water is reversible process. Next one, irreversible process. How we have written the definition of reversible process? The opposite is irreversible process. The process which cannot be retraced back in opposite direction is called irreversible process. And one example of this is heat generated by rubbing hands. Heat generated by rubbing hands. So you see, when we are rubbing the hands, heat is getting generated. But by generating heat, we cannot rub the hand. Right? So that is what? Irreversible process. Now next is Carnot engine. What is Carnot engine? The heat engine which operated between two temperatures. Very simple definition. The heat engine which operated between two temperatures. Now what it consists of? See here, I have drawn one diagram. This is piston. This is we can say one container and the piston which is here that is frictionless non-conducting piston then non-conducting walls this conducting base and perfect gas is fitted in it okay understood this is what about the carnot engine now you see what this Carnot engine has, it has one source which is at high temperature that is T1. Any amount of heat can be taken from it. Then next you are having sink and it is at low temperature T2 and any amount of heat can be released to it. Now what is Carnot cycle? The working substance of Carnot engine undergoes one cycle. That cycle is called Carnot cycle. Understood? So, see, in the previous slide, we have seen what Carnot engine consists of. Right? And then here we can see the source, then sink, and what is Carnot cycle. Okay? Now, let's see the expression for efficiency. Now you see here, the first point, Carnot cycle consists of following four operations. What are those? You know, first one is isothermal expansion, then adiabatic expansion, isothermal compression, and adiabatic compression. Let's draw the diagram. You can see, here you see the pressure which we have taken on y-axis and volume we have taken on x-axis. You draw the diagram in such a way that this P1 is pressure at point A we can say, P2 at B, P3 at C and P4 at D. Similarly, volume P1 at point A or Volume V4 for point D, we can say C, V3 and B, P2. Like this diagram you draw. Okay. 
Now let's move ahead. Now first one, that is isothermal expansion. Already we know, we have seen the work done formula in isothermal expansion. W1 is equal to Q1 is equal to Nr T1 ln of V2 by V1. You can see V2 by V1. Next is adiabatic expansion, which is Bc. So W2 is equal to Q2 is equal to Nr by gamma minus 1, T1 minus T2. Next is again isothermal compression. In graph, you can see CD. So Nr T2 ln of V4 by V3. Then adiabatic compression. In adiabatic compression means dA. So what we are getting W4 is equal to Nr by gamma minus 1, T2 minus T1. If I have taken minus sign outside, then Nr by gamma minus 1, T1 minus T2. Call this equation number 4. So like this, you are getting four equations. So let's move ahead. So now I'm going to find the network done. So W net is equal to W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4. In previous slide, we have find out the value of W1, W2, W3, W4. We have to substitute now in this. So let's substitute. What we got W1 value, Nr, T1, Ln of V2 by V1, then plus. What is W2 value? Nr by gamma minus 1, T1 minus T2, plus. Nr, T2, Ln of V4 by V3, that is W3. And minus Nr by gamma minus 1, T1 minus T2, that is W4. Now this minus and this plus I have cancelled. And what I am getting next? Nr, T1, Ln of V2 by V1, plus Nr, T2, Ln of V4 by V3. Now here you see in the next step, W net is equal to Nr T1 ln of V2 by V1 as it is and minus Nr T2 ln of V3 by V4 I have taken. Minus sign here, that's why I have reversed this because log A by B is equal to minus of log B by A. Now what is efficiency? Efficiency is the ratio of work done to the heat supply. What is efficiency? Ratio of work done to the heat supply because we got W net here. So let's see now efficiency. Now eta is equal to W net by Q1. W net value we have substituted and down is Q1 value. Q1 is nothing but W1. Now just separate the denominator. Nr T1 ln of V2 by V1 divided by this Nr T1 ln of V2 by V1. I have separated this minus here. Nr T2 ln of V3 by V4 divided by Nr T1 ln of V2 by V1. Now this will get cancelled. This Nr Nr cancel. So what we are getting? 1 minus T2 by uh, T2 into ln of V3 by V4 by T1 into ln of V2 by T1. Now in adiabatic process, T V power gamma minus 1 is constant. We know this. In adiabatic process, T V power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant. Now let's move ahead. Now see from graph BC. If you have drawn the diagram, you can see in the diagram P point P1 V2 power gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 V3 power gamma minus 1. And from this I am getting just this T2 I have transferred here and this V2 here. So V3 by V2 whole power gamma minus 1. Let's call this as equation number 5. Next now from graph DA you see DA T2 V4 power gamma minus 1 is equal to T1 V1 power gamma minus 1. Again here also you are getting this V4 power gamma minus 1 by V1 means V4 by V1 whole power gamma minus 1 is equal to T1 by T2. Then again I am writing like this T1 by T2 is equal to V4 by V1 whole power gamma minus 1. So that in equation 5 and 6, I am getting T1 by T2 as a left hand side, which is same. Now from 5 and 6, as the left hand sides are same, right hand sides also should be equal. That's why V3 by V2 whole power gamma minus 1 is equal to V4 by V1 whole power gamma minus 1. And from this we can write V3 by V2 is equal to V4 by V1. That implies this V4 I am transferring here. So V3 by V4 is equal to V2 by V1. And now let's substitute in this equation, which is equation number four, I think. Right? 
So eta is equal to 1 minus T2 ln of T3 by V4 divided by T1 ln of V2 by T1. At the place of this V2 by V1 or V3 by V4, I can substitute V2 by V1. So here you see at the place of this V3 by V4, I have substituted V2 by V1 and that's why this two will get cancelled and we will get eta is equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. This is what the expression for efficiency up to this how to write. Okay. Right.